Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 47 of our Enigmatica 6 Expert Let's Play series, where today we are doing a bunch of exploration, finding our Blizz, Blitz, and Basalts, and working on B Mutagenics. Let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another rainy day here in the world of the Andrada, where today we have uh, explored, done a little bit of exploration, uh, and found our way to the desert that we had discussed in the last episode. And we're getting attacked by slime as I'm trying to intro here. Can you guys just like get out of here, please? Thank you. There would be a slime island right above me as I'm trying to talk. Okay, thank you. Uh, so yeah, we ended up getting here to this desert. Uh, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't too bad to fly here, of course. Um, map is, oh, okay, so it ended up being over here. So base is here, which I thought it said that it was north, which is why I went to Bamboo, but I guess not. Uh, it was way more west than anything. But anyway, so we're here, and we have a desert temple here, and there's also another desert temple right on over yonder. So we're going to explore those, uh, well, right now. I did, uh, or I do want, don't want to, I don't want to sleep because we don't want to, um, you know, oh man, are you kidding me? What was that that attacked me? I didn't set off the TNT down there, so that's good. Anyway, I'm looking for the basalts. I was hoping I would find some more soul gems, but I'm going to have to like quickly like try and, uh, shrink them and then capture them inside of this in in a uh, bottle and cork so that's going to be a fun experience uh but anyway let's go ahead and get down here good thing i have vault available to me so i didn't have to worry about you know or i mean uh, take off and we're going to grab all the tnt just because and maybe we'll get a uh, soul gem in here who knows wild and spike we'll take that i don't know what the cost is definitely going to take some spider eyes too Overgrowth seeds. I know those are rare and useful for making enchanted soil. It's needed for the enchantment factory, so I'm glad to have that. And we can, uh, it gives us a growth modifier. Nice. Emeralds, always going to take those. Silf shards, cool. Uh, we'll take bones, string, spider eyes, black lotus, arrows. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and then I do have my backpack here so that I've been just putting stuff in here. We do have a few things that I got from while we were exploring. Just basically another takeoff book, uh, just in case we ever die and we need another takeoff book. It's always good to have a spare, uh, plus some enchantments. Nothing too crazy, though. Let's go ahead and trash this stuff. And if I go right here, I should be able to just fly out of here. Okay. Uh, checking out our map for any basalts. Not the bottle and cork. That's the wrong thing. It's just bottles. Yeah. Maybe we should capture that witch, too? I don't know if it's going to come in handy or not. But we'll we'll try and get her. I got to remember how to do this. Is it... And then... Got her. Got a witch in a bottle. Nice. Yeah, anyway, so we need to head into the desert here, because that's where the uh, basalts is going to spawn. I didn't think it was supposed to rain in deserts. I thought that was like a thing that didn't happen. Oh, there's a blitz. That's what it is. Huh, I got to hit it. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Get, get captured. Okay, I got one. That's what I needed to have happen. So now I have it, because we can convert these over. Is this bird attacking me? They are. What the heck are the seagulls attacking me for? I didn't do nothing to them. These dudes are aggressive. Okay. Oh, look, there's another thing, too. There's a... Oh, look, there's two of them. Nice. So then we just need the basalts, dude. This is a guster. Oh, I don't know what this is. Wait, this isn't what I wanted. Well, I'm going to take it anyway. I don't know what that does. Yeah, I don't know what a Guster's used for, but we're going to take it. I'm also going to grab some cactuses, too, while we're here, because we haven't had any cactus. Okay, cool. Oh, look at all that bone. It's a good exploration here that we got going on in this episode. I could sleep at this point because uh, we got what we came here for. I don't know if I want to just yet. 
Let's go ahead and... What is it attacking me? I want to explore for sure and get the loot. Okay, cool. Um, Curse of Foolishness prevents experience gain when using the item. Nope, I can't say I don't. I want that. We'll do this, this, this. Another overgrowth seed. Absolutely. Stop worm, spider eyes. Potion of mana regen. And emeralds. Okay. Cool. Nothing too super duper crazy out of this one, but look at that. We got a Guster from Alex Mobs. I don't know why I got that. I thought it was the other thing, but it's not. I thought it was like a Basalt or something. Rotten Flesh can go in there. It's probably going to come in handy to have some of that later. We have plenty of slime. Okay. Oh, and we're out of food. Figures. That would be, that would be where we're at. Okay. That's not the right book that I want. I want to take off. Okay, well, uh, we've... Let's go... I want to go explore that uh, thing. I just want to get out of here. Let's go ahead and sleep. Our problem is, is I don't have a lot of food now, so... There are monsters nearby. Okay, jerk. Let's just go down here, then. Should be able to sleep down here, right? Yeah. I want to go check out all that bone, because we do have an issue with bone meal frequently. Sir? Get out of here. I'm, like, very weak. So I don't want to deal with you. I want to check out this structure over here. Check out the bones. Uh, and maybe there's sometimes loot inside of these things, which is cool. There's also sometimes spawners, so we got to be careful. That is a sandy bee. We don't need that. But all of this bone block is going to be great. Yeah, look. There's the spawner. Look at all the emeralds. Blocks of emerald. I like that. You like to see it. And then emerald ore. Yeah, I know. I don't have fortune on here, but it's okay. It's not like the end of the world. And then we're just going to go ahead and just vein mine up a bunch of this stuff. Bone blocks for days. Two more spawners. One more spawner. We're just destroying the ancient remains. Man, that. what am I taking damage from? Okay, cool. Oh, I'm out. I'm about to die. I have no food. We're going to go home. I did set up a waystone there, so. Okay, well, I guess I only requested one. There we go. Whew. I can eat, finally. Let's fill up our Oreos. We have plenty of Oreos out in our base, or in our thing out there, so I'm not worried about it. We are slowly running out of storage room here, though. We only got two more chests. I'm probably going to end up having to add another wall to this thing before we get there. Okay, so we got a, we got the Blitz. So now we just need to get the other two uh, creatures, which is the um, uh, Basals and the... Blizz. So I, I'm pretty sure, I mean, it, it would make 100% sense that the Blizz is going to spawn in a cold biome, correct? I, I, I see that as making sense to me, at least. So we'll come over here and we'll kind of chill out um, over here, I guess. We can chill out here and then I will... Uh... What is this? Strays. I didn't even know this tower was here. What you got for me? Drig me shards, which is great if I can use them yet. This is the temple that I uh, accidentally blew myself up in, right? Can I go down the ladder? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one that I accidentally blew up previously. Get in there. Yeah, there's a hole there. That's the one. Uh, if you didn't know, this has trip wire. Okay, well, that was rude. This has a trip wire inside of it, and so when you uh, drop down, not a pressure plate, it's trip wire that will cause you to fall. Anyway, uh, we'll wait here until nighttime, and then hopefully we'll get a blizz, and then we'll come back. And uh, we're uh, my goal is to try and set up this Drigme, char, Drigme farm at, in this episode, so I'm going to figure out how to get that thief's hood while we're waiting, and then come back. So yeah, we'll be back. All right, night has set upon us. 
now we must find ourselves a blizz. Uh, I was looking in JEI, and outside of the Drigme farm, our best option for using these blizzes is going to be to um, turn them into bees, which I think is actually going to honestly be the better option, because A, I have bees already set up, and C, um, I don't have the Thief's Hood yet. The Thief's Hood comes from mobs. It's a random mob drop. And if they're wearing the Thief's Hood, it is a guaranteed chance that you will get a Thief's Hood. So I just have to find a mob that happens to be wearing one uh, and then hope I get lucky with the drop, which is 100% chance. So luck really shouldn't have much to do with it. I just got to the, the lucky part is finding the mob with the Thief's Hood on. And I have a bunch of these strays right now who slow me down, which is annoying. Okay, but yeah, so we need to look for the Thieves' Hood, um, and we're also, like I said, looking for the Blizz. Now, they should spawn in any sort of snowy biome, so hopefully we don't have any trouble. This is a snowy biome. I just would love to see one just pop into existence right now. We're getting a lot of strays, which tells me that this does count as a valid snowy biome. I, I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't, but just to, uh, you know be safe there's a moose now you can't get moose antlers from killing the moose so we're not going to worry about slaughtering him that would be mean and cruel and unnecessary just trying to keep an eye on my map seeing what we find hopefully we come across the blizz sometime soon and I might actually capture this moose and then we'll have two moose I'll set another one up in that area, and we can just have two. Do moose fight each other if they're in the same enclosure? I don't know. Get over here. Thank you. Second creeper trying to sneak up on me, but I got him. I got his number. Are you a blizz? No, you're a creeper. You have some armor on you. Maybe it's good armor. I don't know. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to keep running around until hopefully a blizz spawns. And if one doesn't spawn, I swear I'm not going to be a happy camper. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, we'll be back. I'll, I'll try and come back when I find one. That way you guys can see me capture it. Okay, we have one. Where'd it go? I found one, finally. It's like just, just like daytime. But we found it. And I just got to get it to shrink. And then I got to... There's a creeper. Do not kill me. I just got to get him in the in the bottle. Come on, come down. Ugh. Ugh. No, no, wrong button. Oh, my goodness. Get in the bottle. Goodness gracious, I need this this man to get down here. Got him. OK, geez, Louise, that was much harder than it needed to be. OK, we got a blizz. I'll take it. Nice. I also got a thief's hood. Found that there was a, a skeleton wearing it. Got lucky with that. And so we got the thief's hood taken care of so we don't have to worry about anything else. But okay, look, there we go. Uh, Blizz gathered. It was literally the only one. You can see it's daytime. That was the only one that I saw, like, this whole time. It was a little bit concerning. I was getting kind of sort of upset uh, and worried that I wasn't going to end up finding one in time. Um, let's see. What do we want? Uh, this is fine. This is fine. And so our last creature that we need to go hunt. No, don't throw that away. Put that in there. The last creature that we need to hunt is a Basols. Uh, and a Basols, I looked up in the Discord, is going to be found most commonly in a Badlands biome. Um, and there is a Badlands about 6,000 blocks to the south. And so if we actually head home, I have my uh, Exploration Continued Waystone, which is where I was, well, last exploring. How are you doing space-wise before I head out anywhere? Yeah, you're pretty pretty full actually let's go ahead and get the junk out of here uh we can put all of this kind of stuff away and then keep the rest i got a trident i found while out and about all of that stuff can go in there and diamonds phantom memory we're gonna have to repair this thief's hood um, I believe we can repair it with rabbit hide, so I need to go find some rabbits, too. Luckily, we know where a desert is. If we put all of this stuff in here, we should be good to go now for our exploration and be able to continue. Let's grab some more glass bottles, too, in case we come across anything interesting. Um, 
just because I only have one left and I don't want to risk not being able to capture something and having to make a choice between a blizz or I mean, a basalt and something else. Okay, so we had exploration continued, which puts me way far south. Yes, that cut out 5,000 of the 6,000 blocks that we would have needed to travel for this. So I will definitely take that. Um, and let's go ahead and soar up above. We do have a village here that I don't think I ever explored either. Oh, and another another tower. Yeah, I haven't ever been to this one before. I love coming to these things, A, just for the waystones, and B, for the... Um, Loot. You never know what you're going to find. Another takeoff book. Like a clown in a bottle. Allows you to double jump. That's kind of cool. Uh, doesn't help me here. And I probably have to put uh, the clown in a bottle on in my inventory. There is a pillager outpost that is desert themed. Is that the Badlands? It kind of seems Badlandia. Badlandish. This is Red Rock Valley. Let's take these guys out. Because why not? While we're here, we're doing exploration. Let's just take them out, see what kind of loot they got up top of their tower. Kind of cool looking orange banner. I'll take it. Bottle of enchanting, and that's the extent. Okay. Well, you guys kind of sort of suck. But, uh, yeah, so let's continue on. We're heading towards these bad lands. And then once we get there, again, we got to wait until night. But we'll just chill, and then we'll get our basalts. And then we should be good to go ahead and start doing a little bit of breeding in mutagenics and get our uh, bee going. Also, apparently there's Badlands temples. I didn't know these existed. This must be a modded thing. Can I can I land? Let's see what the uh, danger of a Badlands temple is. Because as I said, the ice ones is, uh, okay, so this looks like it's just, nope, see, look, there's terracotta there. I don't, I don't trust it. I don't know what, 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 what that, son of a gun, get out of here. I don't know what triggered it. I broke the TNT. Also, this literally just lagged out the world, so we're kind of frozen here. Okay. Well, that's lovely. Luckily, TNT doesn't explode loot anymore, does it? Is that a fair assessment? Like, the loot that was in this should still be around? I think that was a thing that got changed. Slate, tin chunks. Nope, okay. Well, loot's gone. No idea what... We could have had, like, a the most epic item in the game there, and we just lost out on it because I don't know what triggered... I broke the TNT. You guys saw me break the TNT. It was a thing that I did. Can we get out of here? No. Ah, oh, come on. I don't want to have to pillar up. There we go. Well, that was a thing. I don't think I have any bee jars either if I happen to need any of these bees that are floating around. Which is slightly unfortunate, but that's okay. All right, this isn't a very large Badlands biome, so I'm just going to chill out uh, right about here. We have a pretty decent overview of any basalts that were to spawn in. We can swoop, snag them up, and then come back. There's a uh, beeper, which I don't think I actually have. I think I lost my beeper, didn't I? But yeah, I have no... Uh, oh, no, I have bee jars. My beeper got converted, if I remember correctly. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Also grab a couple of these sooty bees, because I, I think I only have one. Get over here, buddy. Thank you. Swoop. Oh, I tried to drive by. I wasn't fast enough on the click, though. Okay, cool. All right, we'll be back. All right, night has fallen and our victims have arrived or appeared. Uh, though this guy's really, really high up here. This is the one I want anyway, though. So, okay, we've, we've got him going. He did teleport because I hit him. But let's go ahead and do that, and then get in here, get in here, get in here. Come on. Don't kill it. Get in my bottle. Got him. Jeez Louise. Those guys are kind of hard to capture because they do that, that roundy, spinny attack. Get over here, Enderman. While I'm here, might as well take you out, too. Where'd you go? Something is doing damage to me, and it's really annoying. What is this? Shock, apparently. I'm taking three damage every, like, two seconds. Okay, cool. Whew. 
Got it. Uh, oh, and that's what was doing the damage to me is the uh, blitz up there. But yeah, okay, so we got our basalts, right? Right, okay, cool. We can go ahead and go home. We got everything that I need. I'm just going to keep taking damage here until we get out of here. All right. Uh, I ended up killing a rattlesnake while we were out there and found another temple, so we got that going for us. Feather falling can go in there. Lightning arrows. Actually, waystones can go in my backpack. I don't need those to go in there. Ender pearls, and we're good to go. Okay, so we got the three things that we needed, which was the... Um, let's see, I got Guster. We got a Blitz. We got a Basalt, and we got a Blizz. So now what we want to do is convert these guys over to, um, well, bees. Like, we need to turn them into bees. And how are we going to do that? Well, if we go ahead and look in JEI, and we look at, like, for example, the Blizz bee, this bee can be acquired via the mutagenic properties of the Blaze bee. Its pollen will convert a Blizz into bee form. Uh, Rodanosaurus Rid and Tempered Fool are the ones who uh, added that to do. So let's go ahead and get a uh, bee mutagenic process going. And if I believe if we... Um, there's a ponder. Yeah, there we go. That's nectar. Next scene, pollen is a mutagen. Mutating bee, bees the easy way. So this is a structure for mutating bees. Um, basically, you have, well, something like, like so. Place what you want to mutate. Blaze beer, let it collect some nectar from the magma. It's going to go over the trap door, go into its little crate, and bada bing, bada boom, we will have a bee converted over. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some glass. Uh, not glass. Let's get ourselves a bee nest. And we're doing blaze bees today, so we're going to go ahead and set up a blaze bee uh, spawner. We're also going to want a trap door, and I know I'm not going to have a trap door available to me, but we can grab trap doors. Now, is this trap door going to work, or does it specifically need to be an oak trap door? Because oak trap doors have the little holes in them. I don't know. I doubt that it's going to require a specific trap door for this, but we're going to go ahead and grab oak just to be safe anyway. So then we can go ahead and set this up somewhere over here, all, where all our other bee stuff is. Uh, and these are our extra bees. We can set this up right over here. So what we're going to do is just build out a little structure. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Just enough room to be able to do this mutagenification. Uh, so then let's swap over to planks. Just give ourselves enough room to work with. And then back to logs. Okay, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna have our nest sit here. It's gonna sit like so, facing like so, so that way the bee can come in and out. And I don't know if we, I don't know if the bee can come out of the back of the thing, so I'm not gonna really test it. Uh, and let's look at the spawn egg. I think this needed to be like one B spawn egg. Sure. Don't know what a terrestrial bee is, but whatever. Uh, I believe, yeah, we need to have a one gap and then whatever kind of flower. So we're going to have a gap. We're going to have the trap door sit here. This is where we're going to put our creature that's going to get uh, transmutated. And then over here, we're going to have our flower sit. And then the creature will sit there. So then we can just glass all of this up. Uh, and we're going to do like so. Yeah, so we can put our B here and then our creature that we're going to have spawn, which I think the Blizz and the Basalts might be a little big, so we might need to put them there. They'll, you know what? They might be able to convert from their little itty-bitty mini form, so that might work out, actually. And then we just got to put the uh, requisite item here. And so for the Blizz bee, it's going to be a Blaze Cake, so I'm going to actually take that Blaze Cake from in there. As soon as this Blizz bee pops into here, uh, we can go ahead and capture it, unless I have an extra. Do I have an extra blaze bee? I don't think so, because the one that we have came from a mutation, an accidental mutation, but a mutation nonetheless. But as soon as he goes, he's the one that's on fire, so as soon as I see the flaming bee go away, 
Oh, also, apparently gas bees catch on fire, too, which is good to know. And I could pop in there and capture it, but it's going to be a pain. <laughs> There's a lot of bees in there. I don't know if I can actually get in there to capture it. Like, if I pop myself in here... Blaze bee. Got him. And then, without hitting another bee, I need to... I need to break this cake. Without hitting the bees. That's what I wanted to do. Whew. Oh, and apparently breaking magma cake breaks the magma cake. Nice. How did we make that again? That is magma cream bucket. Oh my goodness. And crimson roots. I don't even think I have any more of these. Are you kidding me? Why would that do that? Crim... Can, can you type, please? I do have some crimson roots. Okay, good. Whew. Uh, so then we need magma cream cake. We're going to need three buckets of magma cream, which is going to be this, which is going to be um, four, eight, twelve of these. Going into our fluid or our melter first. I believe at this point this is empty. Yes. All this for the name of love. What? Okay. And then we can put this back here and then just get three buckets, which I, I like having all my buckets in my inventory. So let's go ahead and grab four. Because I'm short one in my inventory. Pop that back there. And then we can use these three inside of here. Bam. Fluid encapsulated. Done. And we're good. And then I can just make a magma cream cake. And now I know I need to uh, I need to exchanging gadget to pick this thing back up. Give it a second. Request the cake. And then for all of our other bees, they're all going to require specific cakes too. Uh, specifically, Ender slime. I, I believe it's Ender slime, Sky slime, and uh, Earth slime is the cakes that we're going to need for the other other bees so we're gonna have to be careful with that um but let's go ahead and get our bee in here what i'm gonna do is no okay that's fine let's do something like this bee and then go okay so now the bee can't get out and then we can go ahead and set up our first creature that we're gonna want to convert which is the blizz We'll go ahead and put that there and then block that off. I meant to block it off of glass, not that. But we can just, we'll just exchange it and then I don't got to worry about the blizz happen to escape. Okay. There we go. And now we'll be able to watch this process take place. So he's going to get converted over as soon as Mr. B here is uh, done and ready to come out because the blizz, the blaze bee went on inside and is currently pollinating. I could tick accelerate to speed that up. Right, you're in there. There we go. All right, so he's going to do his thing, and then that should convert this over to a bee. As soon as he finishes pollinating. Does he need access to the top? He may need access to the top of that. I believe that's going to be the case. Yeah, look, he went away. You jerk. There we go. All right, now you can pollinate. And I'll remove those other two in a minute. But do your thing. Go spinny. Ah, why is he not converting? Blizzby spawn egg. Will drip pollen as they travel back to their hive. Go to the next step. Hurry up. Move faster. 
Yeah, he's going to convert. He's going to do the thing and do the thing. So do the thing. Hurry up. Well, whatever. Uh, so this is what I'm going to do. In between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys all converted over to their B form. And then I'm going to get them set up in the hive. And they're probably going to go into the metals hive just because there's a lot more room in there. Uh, and I don't have to worry about it. And I'm, I'm probably going to end up extending this one just to be sure that this guy is going to be able to do his conversion. So I'll extend this out one, allow him to be able to pass over and do his thing. And then we'll get these guys converted. But that's going to be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. Next episode, I think I think we're going to actually go ahead into the end. Um, we're going to go look for our, our fortress, find the end portal, and go pop in. Not to fight the Ender Dragon, but that way we can go get some Ender Slime from the island. Plus, maybe do a little bit of loot exploration. We have flight capabilities, so we can fly away from the main the Ender Dragon uh, out to a, uh, an actual island and be able to go explore the end without having to actually fight the dragon to start out with. So I think that might be what we're going to work on next episode. Anyway, uh, that's it. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.